three variable k map we allow a loop containing two, four, and eight ones. Okay, for example, for loop containing two, uh, we may have a uh, cell zero and one, or cell zero and two, or cell zero and four. And then, uh, example for four ones, okay, loop that containing four ones, cell zero, one, two, three, okay, cell two, three, six, and seven, and others. This is the step in simplifying a tree variable k map. So after you map all the value in your k map, okay, so for the next step is actually you need to draw a loop okay, around adjacent cells that containing four one. Okay, why we must start with the cell that uh, containing four one? Okay, because uh, for simplification uh, using a k map. The process of draw loop, we must start with the uh, bigger size loop. Okay, so if you compare between loop that containing four one and a loop that containing uh, two ones, so you need to loop uh, cell. Okay, adjacent cells that containing four one. So after uh, complete with uh, cell that containing four one, okay, you proceed with uh, looping uh, loops. Okay, loops, cells that containing two ones. Okay, and then uh, next step, you need to find the simplified product term. So this is actually the uh, minimum product term for three variable k map. Okay, so one cell group yields three variable product term. Okay, two cell will yield two variable product term. Four cell will yield one variable product term. Eight cell will yield one uh, as a expression. Okay, so I will show you here. So for a uh, three variable, for example, this is the k map. Okay, so if you only have one cell uh, that containing one, okay, in your k map, for example, here, okay, so the other cell. Uh, is empty so meaning that when you loop this one or uh, you don't have to loop but you still need to produce the product term here yeah, or the uh, term okay so example so what is the value here so this value is actually equal to a bar and b and c bar so that means by one Cell group yield three variable product term. Okay, so three variable. So it will produce three variable. So for the second one, two cell uh, group yield two variable product term. For example, we have this here and here. So these two is adjacent cells. So when you look these two cell, okay. So what is the simplified product term? So it will produce two variable. Okay, two cell will yield two variable product term. Okay, uh, so you need to find the similar variable for these two cells. So what are the similar variable for these two cells? So this is the A and C. Okay, because in these two cells, there are A and also C. Okay, and then the last one, four cell. Okay, group yield one variable product term. So example, okay, this is a just example. Okay, so we draw another uh, game map here. Okay. A bar and B, A, B, A, B bar, C bar, C. So for example, you have one, two, three, four. Okay, this four uh, cell is considered as adjacent because this uh, value is adjacent with this value at the same time this value also adjacent with this value and then this value also adjacent with this value so that's why you can look together this four cell so what is the simplified term so because this is a four cell group so you must uh, yield one variable product term so what is the variable here so the variable here is actually a bar okay because here you have a bar here also you have a bar a bar and a bar okay and then the last one eight cell it's 
itself means that if you have all value, uh, you have one in all cell. Okay, for example, this one and all. Okay, so all. Okay, when you can look all, so the the expression will be one. Mean that one equal to one. Okay, and the last one, uh, after you look, okay, all the cells. So you need to all the simplified for that term. So this example. Okay, write the simplified expression from the truth table shown below. So based on this truth table, you need to simplify the truth table. Okay, so this is the answer. So because uh, in this truth table, you have 3y that equal to 1. So that's why in your k also you have 3 ones. Okay, 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so you need to map each y okay, to your k map. Okay. So the cell that represent uh, each one, so you can find based on the product term or based on the decimal value. Okay. So if you refer to decimal value, uh, so the first value is in cell 0, okay, second value is in cell 1, and then the last value is in cell 2. Okay. Then next step is you draw loops okay, for the adjacent cell. So here we have two loops. Okay, first here. Okay, this two cell consider adjacent because it only be for one variable. And then you have balance one uh, value one here. So you can overlap with the next value of one. So to form a two cell loops. Okay. And then next you find the simplified product term. Okay, simplified term for each loop. Okay, because you have two loops, so there are two terms, okay, two product terms. So what is the first uh, product term okay, for the first uh, loop here? Okay, so this is the value A bar and C bar. Why A bar and C bar? Because in these two cells, okay, there are A bar and C bar, okay, the similar variables. Okay, for the next loop here, okay, vertical loop, so this is the equations or the term eh? a bar and b bar. Then your last step, you need to all for both product terms. So a bar and b bar plus a bar and c bar. Okay. Next uh, example. Okay. So write the simplified expression. Okay. By using the truth table. So based on this truth table, you have one, two, three, four, and five. So you need to map five value in your K map, okay, based on the decimal value or based on product term. So if you are using the product term, okay, so the, the first product term is A bar, B bar, C bar. So you put there, A bar, B bar, C bar, and then second one, okay, A bar, B and C, and then here is A bar and B and C bar, okay, and then. Uh, the fourth one is A bar, K and B and C. Okay, and the last one, the last one is A, B, C bar. So you have five. Okay. So next step, you need to draw loops. Okay, so you have five. So you need to find the biggest size okay, of your loop. So this is the biggest size. Which is you have four, one. One, two, three, four. So you can draw a loop here. Okay, and then you have balance, so you can overlap. Okay, it's equal to two cell. And then you find the simplified term. So for the first loop, okay, that 24 cell. So you just need to find only one variable as the simplified term. So what is the uh, similar uh, variable for this four cell? Okay, so the answer is A bar. Because here you have A bar. A bar, A bar, A bar. Okay. For the second loop, yeah, because this is this is the size of two cells, so you need to find two variable. So this is the answer B and C bar. Because here you have B and C bar. Here also you have B and C bar. Okay. And the last step, you just or okay, for both uh, product term. Okay, A bar plus with B C bar. Okay, next example, okay, simplify, 
okay this truth table okay using k map so you have one two three four five six so you need to map this six value into your k map yeah so you have six one two three four five six okay so you can use the numbering here or you just can find by product term okay and uh, next step so you can proceed with uh, looping okay so you need to draw loop uh, based on the adjacent cell so you need to find the bigger size so if you have four cells so you need to look all four so you have one two three four so this four cell is considered adjacent why because this cell is adjacent with this cell at the same time you also have another value that adjacent with this cell and then you also have value here so that's why you have four okay four and the the last one okay the balance you have two instead of you look only two so actually you can uh, overlap okay with the value uh, above okay with the above value so to of, uh, to form a bigger size of loop which is four cell okay so you can overlap and then next step you find this simplified term okay so this uh, loop okay the value is c bar and then this loop the value is a okay? and then you or for both equation okay term a plus c bar so this is the answer for the simplified equation you will get a plus c bar right so um we cannot form three loops that containing two ones as shown below okay as shown in this k map okay because it will produce uh unsimplified expression so this is the wrong method okay you cannot look like this eh? two 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 okay because it will produce unsimplified expressions three variable k map also can be loop okay if the value okay is uh, put in the the edge of each uh, cell for example you have one value here at cell zero and you also have value in cell four so these two cell is actually considered adjacent okay considered adjacent so you can look any adjacent cell okay, to form one loop so these two cells consider adjacent so why so we look at the product for this uh, this cell so what is the product for this cell the product for this cell is a b bar c bar and then this cell is a bar b bar and c bar so if you compare between these two product term so how many variable is differ only one okay only a is differ so that's why these two cell consider adjacent so when these two is considered adjacent so that's why you can look together between these two okay so this is how you draw loops okay to form a cylinder half of a circle okay Meaning that these two cell is actually considered one loop. And then what is the product term? Uh, so product term is actually the same method as a previous. So you need to find the same variable for these two cell. So the value for these two cell is actually B bar C bar. Okay, same with this one. Okay, B bar C bar. Okay, and then another example is this one. Yeah. So this uh, K map shows that you can form a loop that contains four one. Okay, one, two, three, four. So this four cell also considered adjacent. So that's why you can loop together. Okay, for this four cell. Okay, as one loop. Okay, what is the simplified term? So this simplified term. Okay, is equal to b bar okay because you have b bar here you have b bar b bar and b bar okay so this is how you simplify 
truth table by using three variable key map.